Ah, it looks like it's a salvage ship of some kind because it's got cranes all over it. <laughs> yeah. This is starting to remind me of an anime I know. What was that? This is starting to make me think of a of an anime. The, the, uh, which which one? Uh, it's called Gargantia, and it's like it's, it's a mech show. Yeah. But, yeah. Have you seen it? Uh, I've heard of it. I, yeah. haven't, I haven't seen it myself yet. It's one of those recommendations I've gotten over the years. Yeah, I'd like to see you watch it and see what you think. Uh, so this is actually you. So th this is the guy I was telling you about. Ah, I was so surprised. There are people living up afloat on the vast sea. On top of that, you were with two gears. That, that's unheard of. Thanks, you helped us out. You'd better thank the captain. Or is this supposed to be the Yuki? No, this yeah. is the this is the first thing. Yeah. Okay, so then I gotta give the Yuki Soma voice. Yeah, exactly. You channel your inner Yuki Soma when when mm. Ayami's around. The one who gave you the order for us to pull you two floaters out was Cap Cap was Captain O the th oh. Captain of the Thames. Captain of the Thames. Thames, Captain. The Thames, the city at sea. That is where you are now. The captain here is a bit of a strange old chap. You'll see when you meet him. That's not to say he's a bad old bl blighter. Uh, uh, what, what, what about our gears? Uh, don't worry about it. We'll put them inside the Thames through the supply dock. Seawater got inside, so it'll take some time to fix them. You're repairing them for us? Pretty strange for us to be so nice. I bet that's what you're thinking. <laughs> We're not that strange. Exactly. <laughs> but really, we had no choice because it's the captain's orders. Well, I have to go now. I'm a busy guy, you know. Come to the bridge after you've looked around the ship a while. I'm sure the captain would want to meet you. Okay, so welcome everybody to the Thames. Hey, what's wrong? I feel like I've seen that guy somewhere before. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, welcome to the Thames. This is basically the, the central main city of Akuri, and it's simply because it's a salvage operation, a massive one. So really quick, we're gonna actually go into the supply entrance because there is actually a gear shop here. Supply entrance. Supply and demand. So this actually is a, a really difficult place to navigate, but once you get the hang of it, shouldn't be that bad. Okay. Basically, you need to look around for one of these ramps, and over here is the gear guy. Oh, a customer. Okay, now we can tune up our gears, and this is gonna suck because I think this guy's pretty expensive. V18-2000, 6100, XMS-25, cool. So we have all of that. Uh, V18-2000, 5800, XMS-25. This is, this is looking good so far. No improvements. Okay. 6,400. Yay! Bring it here. Tune up. Engine. Okay, we're good. Uh, yes, we're good. Okay, cool. Hello. Then finally, steer. V18 2000. Nothing for steer. And XMS 25. Okay, cool. So we're good for now, but this guy will probably have some uh, improvements later on. Well, come again. <laughs> Come back, kid. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> All right. So now that we've checked this out, it's just whenever you go to the Thames, and we will be coming back here a few times, you just want to check the gear shop because they probably will have some new stuff. So let's go ahead and head over to the bridge. So this would be the screw elevator. This is actually one of the coolest parts of this ship to me, the screw elevator. So all you got to do is just do this. And you have the beer hall, you have the sick bay, you have the deck, which is where we were, the supply entrance, and the dock. So, bridge. Yes, it literally goes around. <laughs> What's it's the it's literally a screw elevator. 
Okay, here comes the fun part. So this is the first mate we met, and here is the captain. Arr, you are the two winos who are floating in with the gears. I don't really like wandering around. <laughs> well, don't take it so badly. For us, anything we pull out of the sea is treasure. And you're a really big, important treasure. We were really careful. <laughs> um, thanks for helping. Oh, what a pretty lady. Oh, don't make that face. I won't bite. I'll return your gears to you squeaky clean. Why are you being so kind? That's because... Oh, get ready, Alex, because this, this, is this is his trademark. That's because I am a man of the of sea. The sea. Huh? Silence. Teardrop. <laughs> You're probably starved. I'll get you some food. <laughs> or Hans! So, get it? Hans and Franz. I'll welcome the guests. You take care of the rest. Yes, sir. Just don't overdo it. Oh, of course I know that. <laughs> How can you be so calm? This captain and everyone are so irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got a problem. Let me go and get things ready. Okay, so... What? Who's that? They don't look like such bad people, I guess. Okay, so all you gotta do is follow him, and he actually takes you down to the beer hall. So, a quick little shortcut that you can find. Really quick, we're gonna hit the save point. Mm. And actually, you know what? I'm just barely looking at our recording time. This is probably gonna need to do it. So, we, we've been established on the Thames. Uh, but that's gonna go ahead and do it for us today. So when we get back, we will figure out more about the Thames as well as maybe get back in touch with the Yggdrasil. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone, <laughs> to more Xenogears. And holy crap, the tiling on this floor needs some serious work. Just realized this music sounds a lot like Chrono Trigger. It kind of does. I mean, so, that's kind of a uh, given. It's the same composer, I know, but still. Last time we met the captain. The captain. He, he literally has no name. Uh, so we met the captain, and now we need to have lunch with him. Because, you know, he's being so gracious. He picked our gears up out of the water and picked us up. So let's go and talk to the captain. Oh, it took you a while, but things aren't ready yet. Oh, it took us three weeks and still things aren't ready. <laughs> hey, hurry it up. Don't make our guests wait. Sorry, there's no place to sit around here, even though there's plenty of vacant tables and gas cans. <laughs> but isn't the view just splendid from here? This beer hall is the Thames' pride. You probably think it's a wee bit peculiar having a beer hall right next to the bridge, but it's fine by me. Of course, you're probably like it's the most regular customer. If you don't take time in life to enjoy a drink, You'll be swallowed by the waves of anxiety. But we don't have that problem. Thanks to this beer hall, everyone is too slosh to worry. <laughs> Are you always wandering the seas like this? Well, normally there is that crane that fished you out. Uh, we use that or the gears to pull up treasure from the sea. We're salvagers. Recently, however, there has been almost no treasure. Just little things. Since we've started the big job, well, that's all we've had. Big job? Oh, that's a job for the Ethos. The Ethos is planning a really big salvage next. So really quick, I'm just going to explain this because we've seen I... stuff on the Ethos, but it hasn't really been a, a major plot element. Yeah. Ethos is pretty much responsible for uh, like all the gear digs in the world. So the fact that they're working with the Ethos is a big deal. I don't know the details, but uh, looks like we'll be searching for some buried treasure. Why is the ethos involved? Who knows? But we're dependent on the ethos to buy our stuff. You know, we're poor and all that. <laughs> we spend all our money in the beer hall. So it won't look good if we turn the job down. Well, dinner's finally ready. Let's eat. Yes, that's my stereotypical pirate and I'm not giving it away. Oh, we've got sonar. So, uh, oh, you want me get, to get her? no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting you ready right now. Channel your inner Oscar because she's coming back. <laughs> Oscar's back. This is this is her partner. <laughs> we've got sonar. Ah, oh, that's not it. This type 
It matches with the above of a pirate ship, the Yggdrasil. And here she is! What happened to her hair? <laughs> Yggdrasil. Wasn't she sunk in another battle? We have to move over to the other side. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's no record of its sinking. We were too busy fighting that red gear to try to confirm it. Then there's a chance that it did not sink. I believe the data shows the Yggdrasil was the carrier for that gear. One moment. Yes, that is correct. I don't know why her eyes are closed, don't ask me. <laughs> it's just typical anime design, yeah. pretty much. Excellent. Give me the controls. Excellent. What are you planning on doing? Sink it, of course. She will never trouble the commander again. Wait, the commander's orders were to investigate the disappearance of that flying battleship. We can't deviate from our mission. Besides, we are low on fuel and need to refuel. <sighs> we have enough. I'll take her down. <sighs> Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? I hope you know that fighting in water is totally different than fighting on land. Of course. Sorry, Calvena. So as you can kind of tell, Kelvena is probably another element. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody that's worked with Dominia before and kind of, or I'm sorry, Dominia, as we've named her, Dominia, Dominia Langley Langley Soryu. Soryu. Yes. Or I guess we should call her Shinikami because that is Asuka's new name. Yeah, that's right, because the movies renamed her, didn't they? Yeah. I know you haven't eaten for a while, but how can you eat so much, Faye? <laughs> this is great! This is great! I like how you eat! You weren't drifting around for nothing. What I, what I like to envision in this is like, it, for those who actually... Have you ever seen a Goku eating montage from Dragon Ball? Yes, everybody has. Okay, so at that point, that, that's what I'd like to envision actually happened while we were off with Dominia Langley Soria. Yeah. Men have courage and have appetites! So that was supposed to be a men of the sea moment again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did, did we just shake? You're just you're just imagining it. No, I'm actually looking down at the glass and seeing the vibrations like in Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's your imagination. Yeah, exactly. I don't think so. Uh, Captain, your first mate is calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. That's it. There's something alive in here. Looks like something's up. Sorry, but I have to return to the bridge, which is just five minutes away. But please enjoy yourselves. Trust me, you all will come to love the captain as I do. Ellie? Is that a water spout? It's too far. I can't see very well, but it looks like a battle. Let's go to the bridge, too. OK. So a battle, huh? Well, we just barely had a setup from uh, Dominia Langley Soryu, so maybe they found the <laughs> Yggdrasil. They've got guts starting a fight next to the Thames. It gets my blood boiling. Hey, Hans, haven't I, I haven't fired the big gun in a long time. <laughs> How about we take a shot or two? And I think we made Hans you. But remember, it's like it's uh, like Prince Yuki, like whenever he's dealing with Shigure. Uh, are you kidding? Why get the Thames involved in a fight between sides who are neither enemies nor allies? And then the big gun is nothing but a useless piece of junk, much like that cat you tracked on. You tracked onto the th Thames in a drunken stupor. <laughs> so he bought it when he was drunk. <laughs> you just don't understand the code of the men of the sea. Apparently not. What are you doing? It seems like a submarine is under attack. Submarine? 
Wait, why is this telescope pointed at the moon and at a weird palace on top of it? <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah! Oh, well, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. Remember, Faye and Ellie don't know that, you know, Bart yeah. shot them down. Hey, that's... Or at least you think it's... <laughs> that ship. What? What's wrong? That's the Yggdrasil! Isn't that Bart's ship? Yeah! He's still alive! Alright! We just can't sit here, let's go! Go where? To help, what else? Without a gear? Hmm. Come on, we all, well, let's all admit it. Faye would swim if he had to. <laughs> Hold your horses, Meatees! Doc, this is the bridge. How are our guests' gears? The uh, repairs will be done shortly. Two minutes. Huh? Finish in two minutes. Then take them out and through the supply entrance to the deck. Yes, sir. Your gears are being moved to the deck. Go get them. If you need, you can buy equipment at the supply entrance shop. What are you saying, Captain? What if we get bombed while we're caught up in the middle of the fight? Be quiet! Our guests are fighting to save their friends! Don't get in the way! If we don't help, it'll tarnish the men of the sea's good name! Mm, yes, sir. But the Thames itself will not join in any fights. Thanks. That's more than enough. Okay, so I think that actually means we can now get gear upgrades. So, I don't think we've actually shown this. So, this is the screw elevator yeah, we've of the Thames. So, I think we just need to go to the deck. No. We need to go to the supply entrance. That's right. Or maybe not. Maybe we can go to the deck. I think the deck. Yeah, there we go. So, they're bringing up Vierge. Oh, it looks like it's fine. Why does that gear look all girly, mommy? Because <laughs> a girl obviously pilots it. All right, now that we have that, first of all, we're going to head into the supply entrance. Supply entrance. Because now we'll we'll have new uh, parts that we can get. So we want to do this because from here on, if this is where, like I've said before, if you aren't the most upgraded that you can be, you will regret it in this game. You will have tough times of boss fights and uh, other events. So always a good always a good idea to just check the shop just in case. Oh, Whoa, customer. customer. Oh, yeah, dude. So engine, B18-2000, 6100, XMS-25. Okay, we may have already gotten the upgrades. B18-2000, 5800, XMS-25, uh, B18-2000, 6400, uh, B18-2000, Brigadier 6400, XMS-25, Steer, B18-2000, and yeah, there wasn't one for this one. Although we do have a new one, which kind of hints at maybe a new character. Hmm, Ren Mazuo, huh? Hmm. So, if we had this run Mazuo, we'd get 7,200 hit points. But, sadly, no steer. XMS 25, cool. We are good to go. So, it's time for us to grab our gears. Well, come again. Come again, I guess, dude. That, that's that got to be 90s, kid, right there. Dude! <laughs> Okay, I think this is just going to put us back in the screw elevator, but that's okay. Nope, just out on the deck. So go all the way over here and now we can get on our gears. So get on. Or actually, do we need to? We need to set up an event for this to happen. There we go. Are you ready for the long swim? Okay, let's go. Wait! Ellie, you need to learn this. Faye's impulsive. 
Which is true. This is true. Oh, hi. Oh, come on, Satan. Just when I thought we were saved, now we're going to be turned into Swiss cheese. Oh, yeah. We are not particularly liked here, are we? Oh, what's this? Yay, Waltall and Virge. <laughs> Faye, Ellie, you all right? Somehow. This is no time for tearful reunions. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, where's Bart? He is fighting below. He said he was going to hold them back until the depth charges were ready. But he left without the proper hydro preps. We are, we are busy trying to ready the depth charges. Your gear should be able to handle underwater warfare to some extent. Go help him out. Got it. Ellie, let's go. All right, so we're actually going to join Bart. Join Bart. Well, it looks like they're going to get some depth charges ready for underwater bombardment. Damn it. I can barely maneuver when you're moving all over the place. Looks like you're having a tough fight, Bart. Faye, you're alive? I mean, you're totally alive. <laughs> Good. Hey, that's my line. Uh, hello. What about that gear? Well, well, well. Uh, Elohim, what are you doing here? Dominia, why are you here? Why? We Gebler need to... Why? We Gebler need no special reason to sink an enemy ship. It is our divine duty to rule these crass land-dwelling lambs. But why? How are they different from us shepherds, the able? To me, lambs and able are the same. The only definite the only definite difference is the personal ability. The ignorant must be led by the wise. That is our job. We need to throw a doom conf in there somewhere. No, I'm waiting yeah. for it. a real insult. Yeah. Look, what well, look what you've gained as an element, Ellie. Why do you even question? Your superior, your superiority is obvious. So the wise harming the weak is a sign of ability? I didn't want that. That's all. Ellie, are you all right? That gear, you're the one. Ha, huh, so that's how it is. How amusing, Elheim. All this for a man. I guess that story was true after all. You were born of those lowly lambs. Stop! Don't say another word! <laughs> what are you going to do about it, mongrel? Doomkampf! <laughs> you monk. <laughs> are you going to use the power you used in that incident on me now? Go ahead, show me, show me your true power, Wonder Girl. <laughs> I will. If you Gebler are wise, then I'd rather be a fool. Oh, then so be it. Then you shall be dealt with as the traitor you are. So now we get to have a little bit of an underwater boss fight. And if people are wondering, like, do they actually change underwater mechanics? Not really. It's a story element. Yeah. So th this is just basically another uh, kind of boss fight. Come on, Elham. Show me your true self. All right. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Uh, shout outs to Tiffany Grant, who could do Oscar way better than me. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> uh, Nereed Cyclone. So this is... Oh, this is a frustration. And I think all of us except for Bart have fixed frames. So we'll have to we'll have to play it a little safe. Boom. Electric arm. Oh, OK. So this can be a little bit of a pain because now occasionally it'll actually go out and do random damage. 